Okay, an update video. It's been a long time since we had the last update video. A lot has happened since then. It was, I think it was two years ago. Now it's time to have this one because they have, we have a lot of things to talk about. And it's about health, filmmaking and, and YouTube. And it's been a lot of questions, you know, why is the uploads not happening that often? The filmmaking has increased, but why are you not taking on any bigger projects? Uh, have you stopped climbing? You know, were the doctors right when they told you never climb again? You know, what, what is happening? We, we don't have the information. Um, so I'm going to answer all those things today. I think we should start with the health since that started everything. And we kind of just do a fast recap so everyone is on the same page. So three years ago, overnight, uh, I went deaf in my right ear and I got tendonitis in it simultaneously. And during that time, I also lost um, the balance. My balance systems got destroyed. All those things were like interlinked to each other. And at that time, the doctors told me I would never climb again. And they didn't know when I would have the ability to walk again like a normal person. So that, yeah, that, that was like a real strange time in my life. And eventually, through a lot of like training, I was able to walk again. And slowly I was able to do moves on a 5A boulder. And then some more moves on 5A boulder. And then 6B and so forth. So there was like a lot of progress during that time. I eventually, through all of it, I think four months into it, five months into it, I was able to climb like a very, a project that I'd set on myself on an old system wall. It was like a 7C. Uh, and I did have success with that, but it was very much on my limit. But it did cement in my mind, I'm like, okay, I am back on track. Uh, I can actually figure all of this out. I can get back into climbing. But during that, all those four months, I had also had a hard, really hard time sleeping because of the tendonitis, because of the anxiety, along with everything. It's like during those months, it's like, okay, I want to go to the bathroom. I can't go to the bathroom by myself. Or if I want to go to the gym, I can't go to the gym myself. And oh, like I want to run the channel, but I can't run the channel. So I deep at night, you know, when the tendonitis uh, was there and I had a lot of time to think about life, all of that kind of like developed into insomnia. And I think it was like a very bad combination with me because I'm very singular in my mind. So with anyone that's had insomnia, you know, like the more you try to fix it, the more focus and effort you put towards, put towards it, it usually only gets worse. It's like uh, quicksand and it's incredibly hard to get out of. So the year and a half into it, I, had, I hadn't slept much, just a couple hours every night. Uh, and obviously the channel was suffering. I'd lost money every month because of, of COVID, but the health issues, I wasn't just able to be, you know, myself. Um, but I had saved a lot of money as a fail safe just for life in general. But a year and a half into it, I was like running out of money. I've, I've had to also, my health hasn't gotten any better, only gotten worse. And I had to have a real conversation with myself. It's like, okay, maybe it's time to, to give this up. Maybe this is just life. Because I had one month left with, of money. And after that, it was over. Like my, my baby is gone. Everything I worked for the last three, four years is gone. And it's time maybe then to look at the as a normal job and really just accept the, the loss in some sense. But I wasn't really ready to do that. So I decided to just like push myself really hard short term for a couple of months to like really get back in the game financially, but also in like mentally. And I managed to do that. And obviously we're sitting here having this conversation. So the channel survived. Before the health issues, I'd run the channel for four years. And now with the health issues, it's gone more than three years. So it's been nearly half the time I've run this business, this YouTube channel. I've had these health issues where, you know, I haven't been able to, to run it like a normal person. And obviously the channel and the business and me have taken a hit throughout all these years. So now, you know, I have the health. The YouTube channel is, is doing well. Everything's good. And that's, you know, as I said earlier, that's why we're sitting here making this... Um, why I'm making this update video. And it comes to filmmaking, the, the thing I love the most in life, more or less. And that's been a strange one. Because during all these health issues and then the YouTube channel, you know, being really at the end so, at, at some points, uh, I, you know, I realized quickly that I don't have the energy, I don't have the resources to take on big projects, get into environments that are new, where I can learn a lot of things fast. Um, an experiment, all these things are off limit. What I can do is indoor climbing videos. 
I had a big question with myself. It's like, okay, how can I make these videos I've done a lot in the past? How can I do them in a way so I can still learn filmmaking? How can I make them so they're entertainment or they're entertaining, but there's still opportunity for me in each video to get a little bit better if it's going to be in composition, in, in sound design, in music theory, color theory, and really push myself in that way. And if I get 1% better each week, then over time there will be a real gain. So yeah, so that's why the videos has been on that kind of level or effort, because especially these, I think, year and a half, two years maybe. And during that time, people really appreciate it, but it also people have gotten frustrated with me in some sense, which is understandable that I'm like, they can see the effort being made for the indoor videos. But they're like, why don't you go out and do something proper? Why don't you do anything big? Why is there no ambitions? Like, why is this channel been plateauing? And during all these times, I'm like, your things are valid or what you feel is valid. Uh, just at this moment in time, like, this is the best I can do. And hopefully there will come a day when my help is good enough uh, to make something special, to take on something that I've, you know, I've dreamt about for years. And I've also had, you know, really nice people from very kind com companies um, reaching out throughout the years, like gyms from all over the world, ask me like, do you have, are you working on a bigger film, a bigger project? And if you are, and you're done with it soon, would you want to have a screening in our gym? And it could be in the US, it could be in Singapore, it could be in London, or it could be locally here in Sweden. So that really was like a motivating thing to be like, okay, people see the effort, people see what, what potential it has, and you know, they're reaching out and they wanna you know, try and help give me opportunities. You know, and at those times I had to like say like, you know, I really appreciate it and hopefully in the future when I have the health to do it, the opportunity to do it, uh, I'll, I'll reach out and see if we can make something. Yeah, so th th this, those are like the good things that has come out from the kind of that mentality of see if I can improve on different things each week. So then it comes into my climbing. So during all these years with the health issues, I've had moments where I'm like, oh, I think I'm maybe back. And then I get, then I just try to push my balance a little bit and then I get most of the time injured because I lose balance on the wall. And big setbacks are like I really messed up a shoulder because I lost balance on the wall, I didn't know where I was, and I just grabbed the hold and I kind of, yeah, I just ripped it. Um, and then I've had very close calls with like falling and not really know where I'm in space, landing on right, like completely straight legs and like nearly, you know, inverting the legs and I don't know what the outcome of that would be. And in general, just having really scary falls. Um, and you probably, people around me in Stockholm have probably seen me on the kilt board when I've been training to do like, I'll do one move over and again, over and over and over just to like kind of train the balance specifically on that kind of move. And so that's what I've been doing occasionally throughout the years. So at this very moment where I'm sitting here talking to you, I'm, I actually don't know, you know, what's the upper limit of my balance, which, you know, I'm sitting here talking, so I'm excited. Like it's an optimi optimistic future. So I'm probably, you know, I'm only going to get healthier and better. This is like something that I've dreamt about for three years to be able to sit here and, and say these things. And, uh, yeah, in the next video, I'm going to climb, Nick is going to set the boulder, I'm going to try hard, uh, and I'm going to send stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to climb in videos again and just be stoked. And I'm also going to maybe show a trailer for an upcoming project, something that I've been working on since this spring. Uh, so I'm really excited to show that. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.